I'm Mark Leavesley and I'm a professional paraglider pilot with over 30 years flying experience. I've flown all over the world doing competitions and teaching people to fly. In this series I'm going to be showing you many of my hints and tips to help you have a better flying experience. I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, so the Cobra launch. Um, I'm going to try and show you some of my hints and tips inside before we go out up into the field. Um, I've got a couple of things that I think I do a little bit different. I might not, I don't know. I've not seen anybody do it, do it my way. Um, the traditional way of doing a Cobra launch is when the wing is laid out crosswind, um, people, once they've got the controls, people take the downwind A riser and I've always seen them pull it. And that's how I always did it. You pull it to pull the, a, the, the downwind A riser into the sky. But I've sort of developed a little bit of a different way of doing it to make the wing bite and come up a bit slower. So what I'm doing now is, I've been doing it for four or five years, rather than when I've got the brakes and I'm ready to do the Cobra, rather than pull it, I actually now take it across my body to the right. So I take the A riser for the downwind wing tip that I want to Cobra. I'll take the downwind riser and I'll actually move it to the interwind wing tip. So I'm telling the wing to carve into the sky a bit slower. Uh, and another thing that I do is when I'm connected, I don't do it with the lines under any tension. So what I'll do is I'll actually take a bit of a step to the glider, so the lines are, are very slack, and I'll take a step slightly towards the interwing wingtip. So I have quite a bit of slack. So when I take this downwind A riser and bring it to the interwind wingtip, the wing tends to just skid and slide a little bit softer and slower I just find it's all a bit slower and more gentle. I'll try and show you on this little toy paraglider here. Um, okay, so what we've got is, we've got the wind coming from right to left along the glider. So we're in the position that we were in, in, um, in episode two. So we're not going to drag the glider around because we're doing the Cobra launch. So, we do the right hand twist or left if you prefer to turn left, that doesn't matter. We take the controls, just the same. And what we do is we face forwards with our body and we lean forwards. We take just the downwind riser. So we're only going to take this A riser. And as I've just said, we're not going to pull it so the glider comes up this way and then shoots up. We're going to take it to the right. So we're sort of pulling it across the glider with this slack line. And what you'll notice is the glider will manipulate and come up into the sky a bit nicer. So it's all about sort of your brake pressures, your brake inputs here. You just want the wing to stop there in that position. So if it starts to move forward, pull brake and it'll come back. If you pull it too much, too much brake, it'll back up, release. So just practice holding the wing there, first of all. And then when you've got this position right, and you're still facing the way you want to go, just slightly gently apply right hand brake. And then while the glider starts with the right hand brake to come up like this, make sure you walk under the low side and the glider, glider will come straight up above your head and you're away. Once you've got the glider to here, it's job done. It's all about this bit, taking the riser across to the right hand wingtip. It bites, don't touch the brakes, don't touch the brakes. Bit of brake here, and then a bit more brake pressure. As it comes up into the sky, step under the low side to help the pendulum, and away you go. So, what we'll do is, we'll, um, I'll go and grab a glider now and we'll get out and we'll have a go and I'll do all that again for real on the hill. 
So let's get to it. Okay, so I've rigged the way that we've shown you in series one, episode one, stroke episode two. So I'm side onto the wind. So I'm going to take the controls as I showed you in episode one. So, okay, I'm ready to bring the glider now up into the Cobra launch. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna face the way I want to fly and I'm only going to take with my left hand the downwind riser. So left hand takes the downwind A riser like this. And like I said back in the, uh, in the man cave, I'm not going to pull it into the sky. I'm going to take it across my body to the right to the interwind wingtip. And you'll notice as the, glide, as the wingtip bites, I'm going to let the riser go. It's not a great deal of wind right now, but we'll do what we can and try and show you this because we've not had too much, uh, too much good flying weather for the last week. Otherwise, this video would have been done earlier. So here we go. So I'm facing forward. Now the lines are under tension. We don't want that. So let's step in and let's step down one. So now we have this slack in the line. So the glider will bite a bit softer. So you can even walk down a bit more because all we want is the downwind tip starting to launch. So it's a pull on the downwind tip and then let go. And now it's just the right hand, just the right brake, right brake. Now the more I pull the right brake, the glider will come back and land. If I release it, it will shoot over and land upside down, leading edge the wrong way around. So it's all about this right brake now, look. Just keeping a nice bit of tension on and leaning and then more right brake here it comes and as it starts to rise got a bit of a cobra you just step under it like that it's as simple as that once the glider has bit and come up at the start of the cobra you can release the a riser and just keep leaning and just gently on the right brake i'll land it in the cobra and i'll just show you that again so let's just land it. So lean away because there's a good pull now because the wind's picked up. So I'm going to land it in the Cobra position there. Let's just lower it like that. So it's all about this right brake look. So if I release it, it'll, the leading edge will start to go into wind and it'll go all the way over and crash upside down. So it's all about tension on the right brake. So look, it's leaning back. So just pull it back and bring the wing back look. Now look, it's going to lean too far, so release a bit and pull. We want it sitting vertically like that. Release, it's landing, release. Just gentle, just gentle. Okay, I'm leaning away. Keep that lean on, release. Look, it's going back, release. Okay, so lines are under tension. So let's step to the wing and step down to the right. So now we've got all this slack. We have the controls. We take the downwind riser. It's quite windy now. Lean away and lean slightly forward. Take it to the right. Watch how slowly it bites. Release. Lean, lean, lean. Right brake only. Right brake only. Not too much. As it comes up, step under it. And away you go. Gentle. Watch how quick I release the A's. So watch. Here it comes. Release. Lean, 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 keep that lean on. It's all on this right brake now, look. Got a bit of a cravat, that doesn't matter. So right brake and step under the left side. Okay, so the glider's bit, look, look at my body, I'm leaning. The glider's lovely and vertical now. It's all about this right brake. So if I pull it too much, the glider will back up and try and land like this to so release. But don't release too much, otherwise it'll go over the top. It's all on this right brake. And when you're ready to do the, the full Cobra and go flying, all you're going to do is lean on the right brake like this. If it starts to land, just release. Just take your time, don't rush. Okay, here we go. So here's the wind, right brake. As it lifts, as soon as that wingtip leaves the ground, walk left. And it's as simple as that, you're away. Okay, here we go again. So we've already got a wall here. We don't want a wall. So step to the glider, lower it down and step down to the right hand wing tip. Take the downwind risers with your left hand and gently across to the right. As soon as it bites, we're gonna let go. So watch, let go. Right brake, right brake only. 
right brake, right brake, and step left, step left. What was that? Two steps left, and away you go. Hope that helps. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that button. <laughs> so there's ridge soaring, there's side landing. So you're coming this way to the last two or three foot, and then it's left hand and land. And you'll nail them doing it that way. Cheers guys, don't forget to subscribe.